You know, the old saying is no one wants to be a hero. And that's what, that's what happened with Ben. Ben didn't want to be a hero, but he, he's become one because of, uh, because of the man he is. I'm a little dicey on the word hero. Um, you know, I, I don't think what I've done is any different than what anybody else would have done. I mean, our job is to go out there. Um, they were on outside the wire mission early in the morning, um, not that far out. Uh, he was out with a, a small team uh, outside the confines of, uh, of Bagram Air Force Base in an area that was supposedly swept uh, of, uh, of anti-personnel mines. There was a loud uh, explosion behind him. Um, the explosion came out of nowhere. We didn't know what it was. Um, we all took cover. And the immediate action drills that they're taught, um, they started heading back. Um, ben was a couple feet from uh, getting back to some hard pavement. My husband said I think he took about two steps um, and he just felt his body lifting up. Uh, the whole ground uh, beneath me uh, just exploded. Um, time kind of stopped for a second. Um, I got lifted up into the air. Um, then I, I landed very abruptly. Everything kind of snapped back to reality pretty quick. Him and uh, military worker and our Charlie were both injured in the blast. I, the first thing I saw was my right leg. I thought, well, hey, you know, my leg's there, so maybe I'm good. Um, I looked over at my left, and uh, it was just a mess down there. So uh, I, I knew I'd lost uh, at least, uh, you know, my left leg. Uh, ben has uh, lost his left foot, and uh, Charlie had uh, sustained some uh, shrapnel to his hindquarters, uh, as well as uh, blew, out, blew out his eardrums. I tell you, he, he's a hero. Um, you know, and I know he doesn't want to call himself a hero, and, and that's something that he's kind of shied away from, and, and uh, he'll tell you he was just doing his job. But what makes him a hero is how he's acted afterwards. That's what makes him a hero. That's what separates him from everybody else. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> too. Some guy came in, I can't remember who he was, but he was like, hey man, you're going to be fine, and you're going to be able to do everything that you, you were able to do before. So I was like, all right, well, that's exactly what I'm going to do then. You know, this guy said, you know, I don't know who he is to this day. I can't remember, you know, if he was military or not. But I've had this mindset that I was going to, I was going to come back. Like come right back to the kennels. So, thank you. Grab my dog uh, just, and as know, soon as I could, come right back unit. to work. You know, we're still dealing with having had lost his leg, but he has a very good outlook onto Careful. what's to come. Sickle, how you doing? Doing great, doing great. It's good to be back. Great. I mean, his outlook is to get right back into his job, to be... Um, you know, go back to being a dog handler, um, and I support him 100% in that. A lot of this is a great day, <laughs> and uh, you know, yeah, I got hurt overseas. You know, the you know the bad guys. You know, they did their best to, to get me, but you know, they didn't finish the job. Um, so I'm gonna be back out there. Um, you know, the, a force to be reckoned with. So, you know, that, that's been a lot of my motivation to come back. It's just to go full circle. You know, from injury uh, all the way through recovery, back to action. Um, that's been the biggest thing for me. Here, here's the worst case scenario. Here's the worst thing that you could possibly happen to you. And look what, look, look how much he is, uh, he's learned from this, and look at how much of a, of a, a phenomenal example he is. Uh, and I'm, I'm hoping that that can drive determination that is going to, is going to go out to all the other airmen and all the other uh, anybody who, who he encounters. All around, the, what I've learned in my time in the service is there, there really isn't anything you can't do if you put your mind to it. Um, and I know a lot of people say that, um, but I don't think a lot of people really mean it. It's just kind of a catchphrase. Um, if you want to do something, you can do it. Um, if, you just got to put forth the effort. I don't ever want to hear anybody say they can't, um, can't do something, because um, you can. Uh, you just got to want to do it first. Oh, man. Then you got to put your, your whole self into doing right, it. it back. Um, and that's what the mil I mean, this military is all about, you know, down to our core values is putting ourselves out there um, and getting the job done, um, even if we don't necessarily want to do it. Um, but we got to persevere, you know, and it's taught, the military has taught me that to persevere, to press on, get Not done yet. what I have to Not do. It, it's, a, it's a learning point that I've, I've, um, I'm going to keep and I'm going to keep my back pocket any kind, anytime I'm, I'm dealing with any kind of uh, uh, anything bad that happens in my life. I'm going to reach back and, and look at what Ben Siegel has done over the last, last three months. You know, all of us as airmen, you know, we're combat airmen, uh, as they, they say more and more. You know, we do go out there, we go outside the wire, you know, to perform our jobs. Um, if you joined the military not thinking you were going to have to do that, then you, you were misinformed. Um, it is our job to go. 
is our job to serve in a time of war, and I'm more than happy to do that. Um, it, it's just the way, just the way it is, and I have no problems doing it, none, none whatsoever. This time next year, mark my words, he'll be pushing a dog again. Not yet, not yet, soon.